Hi people, me again obviously, Morino Bay Uber. This is going to be a quick video as you can tell on the concept of working with distractions. So this is generally speaking for other magicians, my uh, quote unquote fellow magicians. Um, but of course anybody that wants to watch this video is obviously welcome to watch it, uh, more or less at least. Yeah, um, working with distractions. Before I continue, as usual, you can find the correspond the link to the corresponding article in the description of this video. For those of you that want to read and don't want to watch or listen to what I'm saying, in a matter of speaking, yeah, working with distractions. Um, when I, ever since I was like a beginner, so way before I even started, I had to essentially force myself by sheer necessity. To work with distractions. By distractions I mean that when it was ritual time, if it wasn't kids playing outside back when I lived in that shitty one bedroom apartment, albeit necessary obviously, you gotta start at the bottom. If it wasn't kids playing outside, Brazilian kids, because a bunch of Brazilians lived in my neighborhood, then it was um, it was people walking past my apartment door just spouting their business as usual, talking about a bunch of nonsense. Nonsense to me at least. Um, or just miscellaneous noises throughout the day. Construction workers, stuff like that. Stuff that I have to deal with up to present day, honestly. But within a different context. For example, uh, the owner that uh, owns the house that I rent from. He is currently here. He shows up maybe once or twice a year, etc. He primarily resides in the Netherlands. And when he's here, he has a tendency to make repairs and renovations. Anything from mowing the lawn, which I don't really mind, to committing to other repairs. Having some kind of gazebo or bungalow built or the roof needing a new lick of paint, etc. Stuff like that. So you'll hear the necessary bam 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 and all the other related things. Um, as you can imagine, but of course now it's not even remotely an issue to me. It wasn't an issue um, ever since I, like I said, in the beginning, way before I even became a magician, I forced myself essentially to be able to work with distractions, essentially to not let it get to me. Because especially when you do, when you commit to magical work, when you do something mental or spiritual, you need full focus essentially, or you need to at least put as much focus into it as possible. And circumstances, just like with general affairs in the world, will never, will generally speaking, never be ideal. Things will never be picture perfect. There will always be like a dog walking past, barking. If that's not it, it's some cricket making some weird noise. If that's not it, it's it's someone shouting at someone else, etc., etc., etc. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter how you live. Doesn't matter. Metaphorically, even if you lived in a padded cell, so to speak, you would still, I think, have issues unless you are in a soundproof room. I'm just obviously bringing up for the sake of uh, good measure. That's taking stream to a whole other level or to the utmost levels, in a matter of speaking. But yeah, you get the gist of it. Generally speaking, it, um, it, uh, yeah, you will have to force yourself, honestly, just like I state in my article, simply will yourself forcibly, if need be, to work with distractions as in, hey, you know, I'm distracted, I'm this, I'm that, or there are distractions around me, better said, the likes of which I described earlier, just as an example or as examples. You ignore it. When you're making dinner, those things wouldn't distract you. You need to make dinner, you're making dinner. It's the same thing. Obviously, it's harder with anything of a mental or spiritual nature. So, if you, for example, need to generate as much spiritual energy as possible, I wouldn't personally blame a novice or a neophyte, so to speak, to uh, if he got distracted by, you know, while being in the midst of it, in the process, and then all of a sudden hearing stupid stuff like kids out playing outside, etc. Stuff, stuff that you can't really do anything about. Then I can understand it. Then I can say, okay, you know, it's uh, it's not doable. It's uh, for him, it's hard. But I would also tell him at the same time, him or her, listen. Metaphorically, lesson number one: you need to learn to work with distractions. How to do so? Literally, force yourself. Block everything out mentally, etc. All the while generating as much energy as possible. Simply do not let it distract you. View it as part of the landscape around you, surrounding you. Etc. 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 Focus only on what matters. Literally tell yourself, this is the only thing that matters. I need, I need to generate as much energy as possible. This is the only thing that matters. 
okay? At a more advanced level, you can pause stuff even, like you're generating energy or anything like that. If something is so horrendously distracting that you need to pause essentially what you were doing, like pausing a movie because someone is knocking at your door or something like that. Believe me, I've had it as well and I really got pissed because someone is distracting me while I'm at work and I'm like, what the fuck do you want because I'm working? You know, I, I dislike it up to a substantial extent. I do not like to be bothered or burdened, generally speaking. But um, usually if you're highly concentrated, you'll go like this. Hmm. You know, because out of nowhere, you were super concentrated and then out of nowhere, like, for example, an incoming message from social media, like WhatsApp or something like that, the, the notification will definitely, especially my kind of notifications, will distract you. But uh, of course, I'm not referring to myself. I simply mean in a matter of speaking. Uh, to be, like I said, after a while you'll get used to it. Simply do as I say and you will have no issues, little to no issues, honestly. And you'll also notice that your workings in general will be more potent due to the increased lack of self-discipline. To me, it wasn't even a matter of choice, like I said. Before I was a beginner even, I had, I was burdened by these uh, nonsensical uh, distractions. And the second I became a magician as a beginner, I had to literally force myself to work under the most distracting of circumstances, even if I say so myself, everything, base rituals, stuff like, um, stuff like, um, like, like astral traveling, stuff that is laughably 101 or below 101, way below 101 for me, is, um, yeah, I had to learn all of that with distractions, with all the examples that I gave earlier, so I forced myself to be able to do all of this stuff perfectly, or at the very least near perfectly, as perfectly as possible, with, um, without uh, all the while ignoring or blocking out distractions mentally. And yeah, no problem. So hence me nowadays not even paying attention to stuff like that. Someone can be standing right next to me, someone can be talking to me, and I am busy doing something energetically. I either I'm sending energy to someone or something along those lines. It's not an issue to me. I've done it before. I've done it, for example, in a cab with a cab driver sitting right next to me. Uh, I've done it and then at a, a certain moment my phone started ringing because someone was calling me at the most inconvenient of moments and I literally had to pause the flow of energy that I was in the midst of uh, exerting. And it just goes on, you know. So to me, any kind of flow of energy more or less or any kind of occult activity, I easily can just pause it and I'm like, okay, pause for a second. And then I do, I deal with whatever so-called distraction or otherwise, and then I simply resume my operation. To me, it's that simple. But obviously, uh, no one is like me, even if I say so myself, uh, in terms of skill and whatnot, by Father's almighty will. And so what you simply need to keep in mind as the average magician, whether you're beginner or advanced, as a magician that has difficulty with this, just like I said, you need to bring up the level of self-discipline. You need to force yourself. I repeat, you need to force yourself. Okay, will yourself forcibly if need be, coercively if need be, um, to be able to, to work with distractions. So by simply blocking them out mentally or similar. Um, worst case scenario is that, for example, if you have to force yourself that it has some kind of unwanted side effect and in that case you simply need to revise your approach in terms of how you're going to deal with it. But that is so rare that I, I don't even know if anybody in the entire world has that issue. Generally speaking, you shouldn't have a problem with it. So yeah, worst case scenario is you can contact me and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Bye, until next time.